Hi there, welcome to this build of a Clancy Aviation Speedy B. It's got a 40 inch wingspan and it's going to be powered by my lovely OSFS 26 which is a, one of the smallest four stroke engines you can get. And we're working from a brilliant set of plans here which is really extensive which I downloaded off the Outer Zone website and a link to those plans can be found in the description below. Now this is the second video in the series. In the first video we built the basic structure of the nacelle which holds the engine at the front here on these beach engine bearers. We've modified it from the original plans which suggested a engine mount should go on the front and we put these bearers in. I just thought it would look a lot nicer. Now we've got this basic structure of the nacelle finished, there's still obviously more to do, but what we're going to do now we've got this done is we're going to construct the main wing. And the reason we got this built to start with is because this needs to have the wing built uh, to actually fit this nacelle nice and snugly. If we built the wing independently to, to the nacelle, then we'll find that they don't actually fit and we're going to have to do some work. So we got this built and now we're going to build the wing. The wing is really complicated and, uh, and detailed. So we'll take a look at the plans and we'll just have a quick look at that and then I'm going to start creating the components that I need to construct the wing. Well, the first thing that you can see that strikes me anyway is that the spars that run through the wing aren't a continuous piece of balsa. They've actually been joined in various places, which is fine, but it makes it a little bit more complicated when we're cutting out the wing ribs. We've got four separate wing ribs and each one of these is different. It has, we've got good profiles for them up here, but each one has different cuts, different slots to allow these uh, spars to fit in correctly. So a little bit more complicated there. We've also got a, a, a kind of a riblet here, a, a, a bit of rib, which is gonna be the aileron uh, edge. And the ailerons are built within the wing and then we cut them out. So, and also the wing tips, we can see they're made up of one, two, three, uh, four separate pieces. So there's quite a lot involved with this. It's not like on a conventional wing that we often build where we've got all the same ribs and we just lay them out with the spars. This has got a lot more to think about in, in how it's laid out. And we've got this little kick up. I don't know whether you call this a dihedral, I guess you would. It's flat on the top, but the underside of the wing kicks up. So again, something else to think about how we're going to set that up. <laughs> As I said, there's a lot of components and a lot of fiddling with this wing, but I'm really looking forward to building it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to pull together some of the components that we need to build this. So like the wing, uh, the wing tips and the ribs essentially. Right, well, I've cut out the rib templates from, the, uh, from a set of plans and I chose W2, we've got the four, one, two, three, four ribs. I chose W2 because, well, I'm not really sure why, just uh, I think probably because it was just the cleanest, less detail on it. And I stuck that on some three mil plywood and I'm gonna use that as a template to put on a piece of balsa and I'm just going to use my scalpel to cut out the ribs. Might, oops, might seem a bit excessive because there's only six ribs, but it just means that I will get six nice uh, consistent ribs. Once I've done that and I've got the balsa ribs, I'm going to go through each one and cut out the individual uh, slots, holes that are needed for those spars. And we'll come back and have a look at that in a minute. Now, W4, smaller, simpler, less, less slots. I've just stuck that on a piece of balsa and, uh, and cut that out. 
and now and sanded it as I did with that, sanded it to shape and again I'm going to put that on a piece of balsa and just run around it with my scalpel to create the two ribs. So I obviously need two of each of these templates. So I'm going to get on and do that now and then we'll come back and have a look. Right, well I now have nearly all of the ribs finished. There's just a little bit more to do but I thought I'd show you at this stage. So as I said, using this 3mm plywood template I cut out the main shape with the scalpel for all three of the larger ribs, one, one two and three. I then went through comparing the plans and uh, comparing the individual ribs together to make sure that I got all of the slots cut in as needed. You can see there's a, a set of slots here that I did all together because they run through on the bottom of the wing and uh, again there's some slots that run through here but then there's additional bits that need to be cut out. So it really is a, a I don't like to use the word laborious because actually I quite enjoyed it but it is uh, a detailed um, job that you really need to concentrate on and think about. I did make a mistake on one of them, I, uh, I cut this out wrong and had to glue a bit in but it'll be fine, it's balsa, it's lovely to work with. Now the W4, uh, uh, W4 so I've done that one as well and just cutting those out you can see there's a really delicate piece here and that's basically where it's going to be cut out for the aileron that's the edge uh, I think it's the center of the aileron so the only job I've got to do now is in certain areas we can see here look there's a piece that needs to be cut out and also on here there's a piece to be cut out and that's where we have the cap strips essentially or some kind of sheeting there's some here there's some sheeting goes on this W1 where I think it's to allow um, the control rod to come out or that no I think that's here actually on, uh, on W3 so the way I'm going to just take out these thin slithers is I'm going to, once I've identified where that is on the individual ribs, I'm simply going to put the template just set down by whatever the thickness is, I think it's uh, uh, 116, and then I'm just going to trim that using again, this is a template to get the right shape, so I'll just run down my scalpel. So that should be easy enough to do and uh, it's really quite rewarding to get these ribs finished and um, and to see all the individual slots I really like this kind of work right so we've got that done the ribs or it's going to be done in a minute once I've cut out that bit for the um, uh, the cap strips what we've got now to do is to cut out the um, well we've cut out a template there's a template here for setting the dihedral I've just stuck that onto a bit of balsa cut it out really easy and simply I've got the wing tips to make now it's good indicates the grain on these which is useful because it's uh, imperative for the strength so you don't they don't just snap if you uh, if you come down heavy so what I've done is I've put on scotch blue which is type of uh, scotch masking tape we can see here I put that onto the balsa and then I've stuck on the templates now we can just see this scotch blue just if I just peel a little bit off just comes off really easily and if the, um, the template is stuck on like this I can cut it out with my scalpel sand it to the line and then it will just peel off because the template is stuck to the scotch blue which as you saw came off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out these templates for the one wing end and then I'll repeat that for the second end so we've got the wing tips ready. And I'm just looking round at the plan and these are 1 8 balsa. The wing ribs which I didn't mention are mostly 1 16 balsa except the bits I didn't show you which are the tips here I created these are 1 8 
which are for the um, uh, these are for the ends of the aileron so and I just used one of those ribs as a pattern like that the ribs really are quite detailed and they do take a lot of head scratching and thinking about to get it right but it's balsa it's easy to work with and if we have to as you saw here it's quite easy to repair if I cut a bit by mistake so I'm going to do these tips now and then we'll have a look and start to build the wing right, well I've created the components now for the wing tips and I've got these pinned together as pairs now I've sanded the inside edge a little bit just to neaten that up I haven't touched the outside edge or the joins where they actually butt together to form the wing tip because I think but holding these up against the main plan I think there's going to be some adjustment to be done so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set out my building board and the plan on top of it and we're going to start to get the wing tips built up and I think there's going to be trimming of these joints and we've got the strengthener that goes over the top of those and I think it's going to need to be adjusted as with all plans we shouldn't trust the templates that we get we need to measure and check and measure I did that with the ribs and actually they were pretty good um, these templates for the wingtips aren't quite so good at the end of the day I always defer to the actual plans of the wings or the fuselage to measure up to get the exact size I don't to go by the templates. Anyway, I'll set this out now and then we'll have a look at getting these uh, wingtips built. Right, well we've got the right hand wingtip here and the plans are on my balsa building board which I can pin into and if we put these two big pieces of the wingtip over the plans and I'm lining up the inside edge because I don't really want to touch that if I can help it, I've sanded it, it's nice outside edge I'm quite happy to sand and profile when we've got this wingtip finished now if we line the inside edges up we can see hopefully you can see I don't know where that shows up but this isn't a very good butt joint here it's it's a little bit open at this end so I'm gonna need to just trim that a little bit or just sand it a little bit so we get a nice joint now we can probably see here that this end of these tips overlap the uh, the rib here. W3 needs to butt up against those uh, those wing tip elements and they're just a little bit too long so I need to trim those but what I will do is I'll trim those once I've got this glued and sorted. The wing tip goes on there, a little strengthener and then we've got these profile pieces which will need to be cut to size and, uh, and glued on as well. And uh, we've got wing tip, uh, sorry, wing rib W4, which goes on there. And that seems to fit pretty nicely. So I'm quite pleased about how that's cut out, so far anyway. Um, only time will tell. And we've got our T2, which is a puts a slight angle on that wing tip because if you remember this wing tip in the wing is actually lifted up a little bit got a bit of dihedral so that will bring that wing tip hopefully using this template from an angle upright that's the plan so what I'm going to do now is put some plastic on top of here and then to protect the plans and then I'm going to get these joints right and I'm going to stick it uh, glue it sorry and I'm going to be using I don't know whether I said I'm going to be using aliphatic resin I think certainly for this tip here I might just CA the uh, the wing rib into place
Right, well this has been drying now overnight, so I will carefully take it apart and we will have a look and see what we've got. Hopefully we've got a nice flat wing tip. Oh and incidentally, I'll just put the glasses on, incidentally this is uh, one of the wing tip pieces with the, um, the paper still on it with that scotch blue and as I said it just peels off really really nicely to uh, to leave the uh, the component that we need underneath so really really good technique I, I really like using that right now back to this and uh, I have to be so careful with this rib that we put on uh, because there's very little holding it and it's a very thin rib now I don't know whether you noticed but I used on the high speed film I used my straight edge while this was pinned down to score where this needs to be trimmed so it butts up against uh, against the rib just put a rib in there so that where that butts up against the rib there now I'll cut that once I've got it off the board I didn't want to cut it while it was still on the board because um, I didn't want to cut through my plans so here we go now let's just see what that's like I don't know whether I'm going to actually sand this while it's a wing tip or whether I'll wait until um, I've got it um, I've got it actually done on the whole wing itself but there we can see we've got the wing tip and uh, actually that feels pretty I probably will give that a little bit of a sand just to to neaten it up but if I don't it's no big deal easy done when uh, when I've got it on the actual uh, completed wing so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to this was the uh, the right hand wing tip what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the left hand wing tip and then we've got them both made and uh, we can think about setting out the whole wing itself the actual setting out of the whole wing is going to be the next video I'm just in this video just very mindful of time I'm creating the components or making the components and the wing tips and then we'll draw it to a close but I'll get that other wing tip done now anyway well I've now got both wing tips finished and I've had them clamped back to back and sanded them so they are perfectly identical to each other and at the end of the day we want to have uh, symmetrical wings so I thought that would be a really good thing to do but I'm really pleased nice and simple build and you can now start to see the wing taking shape and, uh, and get an idea of what it's going to be like so we've got the wing tips we've got all of the ribs and the bits we need for the ailerons we've got another, the nacelle finished for the spacing so actually we're ready to go now and I've even been sorting through some of my lengths of balsa here for the spars it's going to be a really interesting job and quite head scratching I think there's a lot to think about in setting this wing out and building it but you're going to have to wait until the next video to see how we get on with that I'm very mindful of time so I'm going to draw this video to a close now and thanks very much for watching I hope you found it useful and please come back and see how we get on in the next video when we're going to set this wing out and as I said I think there's going to be quite a lot to think about so thanks very much anyway